All right. Hope y'all enjoyed the day. Greenwood stocks. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, just look at that game plan. Game planning will keep you in the game, in the hunt for profits and for success. So, again, we're looking at a market who refuses to retest lows. And I don't care what anybody says. Look at the price. Look, look what the look what the numbers are doing. So, whenever we see, uh, whenever we see names like DoorDash. Um, still at fifty nine dollars. I mean, on on the bottom, like below support, you're we're we're looking at, at at a stock that can that can really take off. Okay, um, look how oversold it is. But today was all about uh the Fed, the market just really giving it to the bear. So, um, like I said, having a game plan. Let's go to uh S and P. And look at <clears throat> look at what's been going on. So, I mean, obviously we're looking at uh, these retracements. We're obviously looking at uh, these bottoms. Now, go back to just just go back to the pandemic. Go go before the pandemic. Go back. Let's, let's look at the monthly. Yeah, let's look at the monthly. Go back to uh, these times where we see the market just continuing up. Okay. You can literally buy every dip. You can literally buy every dip, every dip, every dip, every dip, every dip. Now we're at a dip, and are we are we recovering? Let's go to the weekly. Um, the you, I mean the 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 market has just been on a constant uptrend, on a constant uptrend. So, uh, since, since like I said, since the pandemic, since the pandemic, what where where have we been? Every single dip has been bought up. Okay, it's no different. Every every dip is still continuing to be to be bought up. What's what's going to change? What what's going to change if we break down here? If we if we break down here, then we can have a conversation about uh, the market going lower, the market going below uh, three thousand on the S and P, which is which is ridiculous. Uh, you see all of the bad news that's being priced in. You see how. The Fed, how uh, the media, how everything has went against the market, and it's still able to get up to the twenty moving average on the weekly. You know, on the daily, <clears throat> we're still uh, below the fifty. But again, we crossed over. Uh, we crossed over a long time ago, so uh, we can trade sideways to upwards and still have a nice little rally through the end of the year so don't let the media fool you always trade price uh when, whenever we see a solid look look at just, just look at the at the candle types whenever you see a, a a solid square bottom at the at at the bottom of the candle look at at, at where we go 30 39.87 to 41.54 all right look right here again 39.56 to 40.41. Look at look at look at here. 38.59 all the way up to 4,000. 4, uh, 4,006. Uh, look right here. 38.20 to 39.27. So again, we're setting up for tomorrow to to touch, to hit, to break um this 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 50 on the daily and then possibly break up into this range if we look at it on the monthly chart then i mean we're still good you're 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 you still haven't uh you still haven't made a month a low of the month another low which was 3880 i believe 3886 and you, and you still have this range attack so this range let me take let me let me take these off. Actually, no, I'm not gonna take them off because they have to do with my dailies. Uh, some of them need to be taken off though. But anyway, if you're trading this range for the last one, two, three, four months, <clears throat> forty-three hundred to thirty-eight hundred, forty-one hundred. To thirty six hundred. 
3,900 to 4,100. 3,900 to 4,300. Now look. The thing is, we cannot stay in this range. It has to break up drastically or it has to break down drastically or both. Right here, we, it, it broke, it broke both ways in May, in May. Okay. Then we have the June, we have the July rally and, and continue through June until we got pushed back. So now I'm, I'm looking for us to at least test, uh, around 42, 4200 is, is where it seems like we'll go. If we go to 4,200 and close the month there, then almost no doubt we'll, we'll be trajecting out towards, uh, towards these new highs again. Okay. By the end of the year. So we're looking at, we're looking at a market again that just does not care about what the news says, about what the media says. And we're just getting all kinds of static, but you have to focus on eliminating the noise. So again, what's the game plan tomorrow? What, what did I say yesterday? What did we say in the last video? If you watch the last video, we said 4,000 was the key level. 4,000 was the key level. We hit 4,010, pulled back, stopped, went back up to 4,000 and closed above 4,000. There's a trend line going right through here if we retrace i'm looking for a retrace back to maybe 3980 just like we retraced to 3880 before you know we retraced to 3880 before now we're back up didn't double top we tried to double top but this, this 11 o'clock time period has been really wreaking havoc on the market uh this was at 11 o'clock right here, 11.05 when we got this bar. Here again, 11.05, 11.10, we get this bar. Are we gonna, are we gonna see the same thing tomorrow? Let's, let's, let's find out and see. Uh, so 11, or 11 here, 11 here, 11 here. <laughs> And this day, it just, it just couldn't do anything right this day. Uh, four, 4117 all the way down to, to 4056. Let's go back. Let's go back even more. Um, 13, 10. So again, here lately, because, and I think the reason that it is is because the European markets are raising rates. They're, they're closing lower. And so, then the u.s market gets that news and it sells off accordingly so hey tomorrow could be different but be ready um be sure that we are looking at all the all the the proper stocks apple i mean they have just been outperforming everybody and now they're kind of lagging a little bit okay still creating some support but when it comes to what we want to trade Let's look at Meta. Uh, one more point I'd like to make. Look at all of these stocks that never dipped below support while the market was dipping at the same time. You got you got to pay attention to that. All right. Uh, Meta could literally. Oh, look at this. Look at this range. I forgot to draw these trend lines. Look at this. I mean, Meta could easily do one one eighties tomorrow. Uh, easily, you know, and that that would be a good long term trade. Uh, honestly, so uh, we want to be long into uh, the weekend. Uh, you see the volume picking up. Anytime the bottom hits, look what happens. The volume picks up because people start buying. Volume hits, bottom hits, people start buying. Volume hits, then we get another 161, 171. We get another move, okay? So, again, study the market, see what, see what moves do what. I'm going to draw another trend line just simply because we looked at when we go above these one, 167 levels, we always hit 180. 170, 180. 170, 180. We went to 170 once 
before, a couple times before, and didn't make it. But this is the range. So you buy on support, sell at resistance. All right. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Give me an email, greenwoodstocktrainingdreamo.com. Uh, hit the bell icon button. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow us on Instagram, on our Discord. And be blessed.